So today, I guess I'm just filming a get ready with me. I'm a senior, so I didn't want to go to school today, so I just skipped it because why not? Um, so yeah, I guess you're just gonna get ready with me. And I'll do like my makeup routine, but it's not really anything special because I never wear any makeup. Yeah, I have like five questions also that I can answer during this, but first, I washed my face already. So I'm just spraying it with my Mario Videscu. You already know what that is. And then I start by going with my Hula bronzer from Benefit and I just put it around the sides of my face because I like being tan and I usually have a tan. I got a fake tan that I don't right now so I look really pale. But yeah. Um, basically, I don't know why I'm filming this video at all. Never thought I'd actually film a video where I'm, like, talking in it. But, I guess, it's either this or go work out, so. Okay, so now that this is on, I am going to grab some concealer because I'm a little tired. And I'm just going to put that underneath my eyes. And people say that you should do, like, the triangle shape. But I just kind of, like, just, I don't really do that much detail on it. I just kind of poke it on there. Also, this is just so weird talking to a camera. And there's no one here that I'm, like, talking to. I'm literally, like, pretty much talking to myself. But anyway. And then I have a little beauty blender thing um for my under eyes so I will just go in with that and blend that concealer in under my eyes also I don't know how to do makeup so just like don't tell me if I'm doing it wrong because it works for me so and I already know I'm doing it wrong now that that is blended in I do my eyebrows next so I use just like a little spoolie brush and brush my eyebrows up and then pull the ends down a little bit just to give it shape because I literally have no eyebrows. So I just have to have to do everything myself. I think if I were to do like I've had eyelash extensions and I've got my lashes lifted before, but I think if I were to do anything like that again, I would get my eyebrows microbladed because I literally have none. Like, look at that. This is drawn on, and this is my, like, natural brow. But, yeah, it would just be so much easier, and I wouldn't have to do anything for my eyebrows and, like, you know how you put on makeup and it literally just, like, comes off? And my eyebrows just, you know, fade through the day. So, if I had a microbladed, they would stay or something. I don't know. However that works. I don't really know what microblading is. I just know, like, before and after pictures, they have, like, no eyebrows and then they have eyebrows. So, then next I have, like, a benefit brow gel pretty much and I will just go in with that and brush my eyebrows up with it and then when I get to the ends I just follow along the line and don't brush it out because I like it a little darker on the ends because um, I don't think it looks good when your eyebrows are like super just dark and look super fake and then I don't brush them out yet. I wait for the brow gel, I guess, to sit in there. And I don't think that does anything at all. But it makes me feel like it does something. So I just let it sit there while I finish my makeup. And then next, I have my Glossier Cloud Paints. And I have the color Puff and Beam. But I like to mix them together. So I just like dot a little bit on my hands like that of each because one's super pink and one's super orangey and I don't like that so why not mix it 
and then I just kind of pat my finger in there and then I just smile a little bit to myself in the mirror and then just pat it on the upper part of my cheek and go towards like follow my cheekbone up. And I kind of used all of it on the other one, so we're just going to make our little mixture again. I guess I can answer some questions. Because I don't know what to talk about, because it's just weird talking to myself. Um, so I'm a senior in high school, and next year for college, I am going to San Diego State University in California. Um... I chose that school over the other schools I got accepted to because I have family in San Diego and I've been there a lot and so I just feel like comfortable there um, and also who doesn't want to be at the beach because living in Oregon the weather here is shit and it's raining all the time and if it's ever warm it's still fucking cold outside because that's just what happens in Oregon. So you get like 20 days that are actually warm here and you can maybe get a tan, but usually you just get burnt because your body's not used to actually like being in the sunshine. So I'm excited to be at the beach and be warm because I feel like I just am tired of being in cold weather. Okay, so next I, after I finished my blush, I just brushed my eyebrows out a little bit and reshaped them. Um, but you can see that they're still really dark after brushing them out. Um, so yeah. Next, I'm just going to put some mascara on. And this is kind of hard to do, so I'm just going to use my mirror. Also, I used to have lash extensions for a good, like, year or so, and then the last time I went, the lady, like, literally put, instead of gluing it to my actual, like, lashes, she glued it to my eyelid. So I had a really bad allergic reaction, and I, like, the next day I woke up and my eyes were so swollen I could barely open them. So I just ripped all of them out of my eyeball instead of going back because you know how like you get your nails done and they just don't look good or it's not the color you wanted but you don't say anything because you feel bad. That was me. Even though they should feel bad for me because I literally couldn't see my eyes were so swollen. You know, it's okay. I ripped all of them out myself and I managed to save some of my own eyelashes in the process. So you know what? It's all right. Um, but because of that, I'm like, I have to do mascara every day because now I just have my natural lashes and, um, I take hella long to do my mascara now and it's really messy, but I'll get good at it again. Okay, now I'm just putting, um, kind of like a liquid creamy highlight on and I do it on the cupid's bow of my lips. Um, and then I do it on the tip of my nose and then under my, um, eyebrows and then I'll just go in and rub it in a little. And honestly, this is just like a NYX makeup one and it's super cheap and I honestly never heard anything about it. I literally just bought it cause why not? I'm pretty sure it's a, oh yeah, it's a liquid highlighter, but it works really well. And I'm pretty sure I've been using the same makeup for like five years. But I don't like change and it works for me, so why change it? And then after that, just so it stays on a little bit, I will take um, a super teeny tiny brush like that. And I will mix two of this thingy my bobbers together on the brush. And then I'll just go on to my eyebrow line thingy, whatever it is, and just brush that highlight onto there on each side. 
And I think that also just helps like blend in um, the cream concealer even more. Probably doesn't, but I'm just saying that because I think I know stuff about makeup. Okay, and then I will do the same thing with a bigger brush and brush that onto my nose where my other highlight was put and onto my cupid's bow. Okay, and then people usually put highlight here, but I don't like that, so I'm not gonna do that. And I look, you have like chubby cheeks, so it already makes that effect. Cause that's already a high point on my face cause my cheeks are so chubby. But that's basically all I do for my makeup. I look exactly the same as I did before, but that is okay because it makes me feel better about myself. And then after, I don't really use just like use a setting spray because I think that's like, it's like hairspray for your face and I don't like that and it makes it feel gross. So I just go again with my Mario Badescu spray on my face. <laughs> Anyways, um... Yeah, I don't know if I'm going to post this video, but if I do, just don't be mean on it. Because then I'll probably never do anything on social media ever again. And I'll be really embarrassed and feel really bad about myself. But if you want to like it, you can. So, yeah. Thanks for watching this, if you even made it to this point. Bye.